Well, I just wanted to share some information I have, new information on these alcohol inks. And you can see they come in many colors. And I've been having a great time doing them on Yupo paper. Here you can see one I did by adding white to it and it turned into flowers. Oh and this one here kind of looks like a cityscape. And uh, just there's so many colors, it's just awesome. And then I found out that you can do this on tiles. So I'm going to try on tile a new technique. This is an update for all of you who've been in my classes and I, this is something new. In fact, the gal who told me about it is right here in the audience. <laughs> so first of all, you gotta clean your tile off. That's some 91% alcohol. So we'll give it a good cleaning. And then I'm going to just have a little fun with some of the colors. This happens to be a Calabaza orange. And it, it's just kind of fun, I think. Almost everybody just drips it. But I like to think about the design and how does it touch the edge of the tile and how do the colors relate to each other. So I try to think of it more as a art. Now here's a, a green, in fact, lime green. You can see as it touches the orange, I'm getting some lovely darks. And again, mm -hmm. you know, you can always do your drips if you find that's your style. But oh I really, really, really dislike, and go to the edge. Don't leave any little white spots like that. Fill them in. They're really, I think, gorgeous, just completely filled in. And I'm a big fan of the gold. Now this is a gorgeous color. And we do have these alcohol inks here in stock. And so I always tell people, be sure to get two golds because you're going to love it too. And then this is an extender. Now the extender is fantastic. What it does is it just takes that color and moves it around for you. Unbelievable. You can also do an ex... Oh, sure, of course, I'm just about out. Huh. You can also have fun by extending it with alcohol, the 91%. And you can see it also gives you those little fun oh, shapes. Oh <laughs> but, and you can blow on it and you can tip it and turn it. And there's just no end to the fun. But this one is going to be really exciting. Now what we're going to do is take away all the flammable stuff. You'll notice I'm on a homo board, which is fireproof. And step aside, folks. We are going to light this baby on fire. Oh, my. Oh, my God. <laughs> It, it is so cool. And you can actually see how it's changing the metallics. The surface, it's doing its own thing. It's moving it around. It's separating the colors. It's really looking good. Fun, 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 fun. And the really exciting thing is when it's completely done, which is almost now, you can then go back and you can add more color. You can set it on fire again, whatever you want to do. I'm thinking just to show you, I'll just take a little more of this. Here's some of that green. I wouldn't mind having just a little bit more green in here. And we'll put a little gold next to the green. And it's kind of fun because I'm also now working on a hot surface. I don't know how that's going to affect it. This is all new. I'm certainly not an expert. I'm just having fun. And I have one more trick to update you. Ta-da! Look at this. I took a, a magic marker uh -huh. and I did the end here smart. and uh, yeah and I don't want you to think I'm smart I just want I go oh, on the really? internet I go on the internet and uh, people uh, like this young you're lady smart to go on the internet. <laughs> see they give me they give me all these great ideas so here's another one I just set on fire a few minutes ago and you can see just taking this black marker and coming around like this actually you can get markers in much bigger than this but this was the biggest one they had in Washburn, Wisconsin. <laughs> so I'm just sort of struggling to show you. But I think it's really, it's, it's just so cool. It looks really nice when it's done. So there you go. Have fun. Give us a call. We can help you out. We've got